hey guys how you doing and today is a sunday and it's about 8 15 a.m so i just want to create a video for you especially like this video is for oracle dbas and i wanted to just create this video i know like uh, you know many companies are now using uh, you know a variety of databases not just like oracle or sql server like four or five years ago uh, you know these two da da databases dominated the world and now like, there's so many kinds of databases and if you are just a pure oracle dba right now when you look for your next opportunity uh, you might have some challenges if you just like have only oracle experience and knowledge and so i just wanted to give you basically some options that are available for you, right? Uh, some career options. And uh, let's get started. I hope this video is helpful to you guys. So a quick pause actually so if you are an oracle dba and you need some kind of support or a friend like to brainstorm about your next uh step in your career uh please reach out to me i just like i like uh you know interacting with uh people like me and click uh this link in the description and then put your contact information and reach out to me um you know or i will reach out to you uh based on my availability and uh, you know we'll figure something out okay so now let's just uh, let's get to the point so here are the options available or basically these things have come to my radar in the last one year and if you know of like any like any other options any other uh, uh you know choices that oracle dbas can make do let me know in the comments uh, but these are the ones that I like see other Oracle, uh, you know, Oracle resources like they are, uh, you know, sort of like shifting into. So let's actually like start with the AWS database consultant, right? So lately I've been seeing AWS looking for uh, resources who are good at Oracle, like they are Oracle sort of like experts and uh, also like if they know uh, one other database like postgresql or mysql or uh, like a nosql database uh, if they have a combination of these two skills and i believe like uh, aws you should be able to find uh, some openings in aws uh, in that category actually or for that position uh, because uh, think about it like it makes sense right so aws a you know they want to like get customers and their customers might be on oracle database right now and you know and they want to migrate their customers data from oracle to you know postgres or oracle to my you know mysql or aurora db which is a combination of uh, mysql and postgres uh, so if you have a combination of, uh, you know, Oracle and, uh, you know, MySQL, for example, then that is actually really valuable. So that is one option that is available to you. Okay, second option is a data engineer role. Like, let's say, like, you know, if you move into this position, then you will be basically uh, writing scripts, mainly Python scripts. So you need to learn Python and you will be connecting to various sources like, you know, within a company, right? You know, you need to, you know, get data from your RDBMS database. You need to get data from uh, like some CSV files, some, you know, some other source actually, like some external source. So you will be getting data from multiple sources into your data warehouse uh, databases, right? So... Like I've seen like Oracle uh, DBAs and developers, they are 
you know moving to data engineer roles and in of course like in this role you need to know multiple databases but you don't need to be like an expert in each all you need to know is like how to create like objects like tables schemas and and uh, you know indexes in all these databases and how to connect to them how to retrieve data how to write python scripts which can work with these databases and basically how to clean up this data and if your you know if your data is going to reside on cloud uh, in some data warehouse cloud data warehouse product like for example aws offers like redshift and like you know kinesis streams and kinesis firehose and all these popular products if your data is on them then you need to understand like those aws services and then uh, of course you need to like put put all your data there like your data will end up there so your python scripts uh, you need to be good at python uh, in that in that manner okay thirdly what i would recommend for you is a data architect or a database architect role so let's talk about these two roles uh, you know for a few minutes so data architect like would specialize in their company's data like they would be consulting with their engineers and suggesting like how to actually uh, let's say you know in case of adding a new feature to their company's website for example uh, they would suggest like okay you need to add column here or this data is already available there so they kind of like they get very deep into understanding uh, their company's data and a database architect is like thinking about the company's uh, requirements in terms of like high availability backups and how much cost like each database is each database is uh, you know is incurring and then like they have to find ways to actually fulfill all these requirements so both these uh, roles require you to know multiple databases like as in like you they need to understand uh, rdbms like oracle and nosql and they need to understand like what uh, what is offered in all these cloud uh, you know all these cloud uh, services like uh, let's say like in aws like this there's plenty of like managed uh, database options like they need to be aware of all these things and then finally like they will come up with a design that will fulfill all these requirements like all the business requirements and uh, they will be like uh, making presentations and most of the time like they'll be selling their idea uh, but it's not just about selling but they need to like uh, help the company come to a decision which uh, fulfills all these requirements so you can try for these roles so the next role that's available for you is uh, database engineering manager roles and as you know what these people do is they basically help the team uh, you know work properly and they get the best performance out of the team like that involves like people management doing their reviews like encouraging them uh encouraging the the team members and then like you know ma maintaining the kpis of of that particular team and then creating visibility to upper management about these uh, the contributions that this team is making and sometimes they would have to play like product owner role as well like as in like they will be uh, you know getting the requirements from business and then giving it to the team and then like you know getting input from the team and going back to the management etc etc so uh, so this is actually an interesting role as well and especially if you're interested in leadership uh, definitely go for these positions okay the next one is devops actually devops engineer so i can actually give you more details on on this devops engineer uh, sort of like role because currently i work in a devops team and i actually like got the, the first hand experience of uh, transitioning from like being like 100 percent dba to uh, a mix of dba plus uh, devops engineer so i actually started by like doing some python automation 
and then I moved on to like learning all these like DevOps tools like uh, you know CI CD tools like Jenkins and uh, like Docker Kubernetes uh, you know I didn't learn them 100% but then I actually understood how they all fit together and uh, Apart from that, like you, you know, there are other tools as well, like Terraform, Cloud Formation, and uh, you know, all these cloud vendors. They bring in their suite of tools, like for implementing DevOps, right? So there's like so much uh, going on in the in the DevOps world, uh, and for me, actually, I found the transition to be kind of like easy. Uh, I haven't experienced other, uh, I haven't been in other roles that I, I was just talking about. But for this one, actually, I was able to easily transition. And uh, yeah, and uh, especially if you can find, uh, like, let's say, uh, a role in database as a service team, and uh, you can now bring in, bring in your uh, database uh, expertise, and then if you learn all these DevOps tools, then you can, you know, use these two uh, combination, like the combination of these two skills, uh, you know, to actually add so much value to your company. So, you know, this is something that you can definitely try and it's possible and it's not that difficult. Okay. Okay. So the next role that you can shoot for is DevOps engineer role and I can actually give you a few more details about this because I have sort of like the first hand experience of going from like 100% like being 100% DBA to now uh, like a mix of DBA plus uh, DevOps work right so I actually started by uh, learning Python I did some Python automation work and then I jumped into the DevOps world, which is, uh, you know, there's like so many tools in DevOps, like Jenkins, like all the CI CD tools, uh, you know, Docker, Kubernetes. Uh, and of course, like you have like cloud uh, services like Terraform, uh, you know, you have cloud formation, all there is a whole suite of tools that that are available in uh, cloud and you know using those tools you can implement your devops as well so i learned about all these things not like you know like in a deep like you know, i know all these tools kind of way but then i actually like understood how all these tools fit together and of course uh, there's like puppet and ansible all these like uh, configuration management tools so devops is a big big world but the thing the thing is actually i found uh, this transition to be kind of like smooth. I did not have much struggle uh, going to DevOps actually. Uh, I don't do like 100% DevOps now. I, you know, my focus is still databases. But if you can find a role in a database as a service team, then that is actually ideal for uh, people like you and me, right? So then you can bring your database expertise and as you learn all these DevOps uh, tools, then you can actually use, um, you know, the combination of these two expertise to add so much more value to your company. Finally, like machine learning engineer slash data scientist, like these two roles are slightly different from each other, but like what companies do want uh, is like at least like you should have completed like a, a postgraduate degree in computer science uh, they used to require like PhD for um, you know for these roles uh, now I, I guess like uh, it's a bit relaxed but but for this uh, role you need to be good at pro you know probability statistics you need to like develop models you need to like uh, you know, you need to train your models and a common use case that I've seen is basically, uh, you know, teams where you work on uh, basically reducing the fraud that happens in your company, that happens in your business. For example, like on an e-commerce website like Amazon or eBay or uh, I used to work for StubHub. People used to, uh, you know, I, I knew a new teams which worked on, 
like basically reducing the fraud and uh, for each order they would like have models which basically calculate like a fraud score etc etc so but yeah you need to know python or r uh, there's a lot of like uh, machine learning algorithms that are popular like tensorflow and h2o uh, bayers and all these uh, algorithms actually that uh, you need to uh, you know you need to understand and because of the complexity involved there's not like that many people in the market available for uh, you know fulfilling these positions so if you are interested in like these topics and if you take your time to prepare uh, to become like a machine learning engineer then you will be in high demand actually and uh, and in, like i said like you know these people are rare to find so obviously like you know you will have uh, you know you you will find jobs easily and then your salary will also be like really high uh, given the complexity of the the work